Hey guys, hey, a while back I painted a couple holographic jerk baits. I did one in blue and one in black. So I was digging through the drawer the other day where I keep all my blanks and I found I had one more holographic jerk bait blank that I hadn't painted yet. So today, that's what we're going to do. As we said, going to do the holographic jerk bait. Now, because of that, we're not going to want to put our opaque base on it that we normally would. We don't want to cover all that up with, with the opaque. So we're going to start out just with a belly. We'll use pearlized Createx, and we're going to do pearl white. So we'll go ahead and put a pearl white on the belly. Now we probably could have went and put a pearl, put a white base on that. It might help a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and just go just a straight white with the pearl eyes instead. Key is you would not want to get any of that white base up here on your holographic part because it will not show through very well with that on there. All right, we got the pearl white in the belly. I'm going to go ahead and dry that, and then we'll move on to the next step. Got the pearlized white in the belly. We've dried that. So here's our next step. We're now going to move on to transparent Createx paints. We have the transparent bright yellow. And yeah, I know it's holographic on the side. We're going to paint over that. I go right down the back, put a light coat right down that side. Now don't get carried away on the side, but at least do get it yellow. A little more down the back. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. Right there. As you can see, the transparent yellow allows the holographics to still show through. So now it's time to get a little crazy. Every once in a while you got to do one of those lures where Nothing quite makes sense, right? So, Createx Pearlized Magenta. Let's throw a little magenta on this thing. And for that, we're just going to go right down the back. Looking pretty good. Now we're back towards the back, back there. There we go. We don't want to get too much down here on the side because we do not want to get into that holographic. There we go. We have a pearl white in the belly. We've got our transparent yellow on the side, our magenta on top, and we're not done. Let's go ahead and dry this and we'll move on. There is a pattern that's done, Bass Pro has it, I think Smithwick and a couple others might have it. It's called a clown pattern. Now, it's got a lot of yellow on it. I don't necessarily say it's got magenta, but the clown pattern all does have one thing in common, and that is a red head. So, I'm going to do, because I have the two colors here, I can't use a transparent red because I don't think it's going to cover very well. So, we're going to come back with a wicked color here. This is the wicked pearl red. And I think this will probably give us our best coverage to cover everything. And we're just going to do with a head. to the bottom side here too. A little more back on this gill plate right back in here. A 
There we go. It can even bleed off that. It can even come off that gill plate just a little. This wicked red is pretty thick, so it's not, you can see it's not coming out really well. It takes a while to get some of that paint out, but that's okay. That's kind of what I was looking for when I was doing this. All right. That's going to have it. That's where we're going to stop right there. I guess we can call this our version of the clown. I don't know. Like I said, I kind of threw the magenta in as something different. Anyway, holographic. We went ahead and put a transparent over the top of the holographic. It's still going to show through really nice, even though it's got that yellow color on top of it. We're going to get some eyes in this. We're going to get a top coat. And as always, we'll take a look and see what we got. Well, guys, that is my, <laughs> I guess that's my version of the clown pattern in a holographic jerkbait. It won't be too much longer. The ass will be off. We'll get a chance to put it in the water and we'll see if it actually catches a fish. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.